chosen vessels what's the deal it's your main man drew tube and i'm back at you again with another video i need each and every vessel to hit that like button hit that share button and don't forget to subscribe salute to drew nation the gcvs and the galactic family let's get into it shall we chosen one they think you want them but you're just minding your business and doing you but they're always the ones focused on you let's get into it chosen ones they are always focused on you all right they're always focused on you they're always going to be paying attention to what you're doing and to what you have going on they're going to gaslight you and act like they're not but they're more focused on you than anything that they could be doing all right, they're, they're more focused on you than the, the, the breath, the air that they're breathing into their lungs. All right. They rely on your supply. All right. So when you have people who are gaslighting you, it's because you're better than them, obviously. All right. But it's because you have a certain it's, it's because you have a certain allure about you. You have a certain energy about you that draws them to you and because they're narcissistic right they they hate you just as much as they love you but the hate outweighs the love all right these people have a high admiration for you they hold they they look at you they hold you to a high standard they hold you to the highest of highs but their hate and their jealousy gets in the way so when you have people who are obsessed with you it's just even the men all right like the, like all narcissists are feminine in nature and when it comes down to this and this is just my experience all right this is just my point of view on it it is it, feminine to me because what what does a woman do like i mean everybody does this but mostly women do this all right me personally i let a woman know i'm looking at her if i like you yeah if i, I like you and i want you <laughs> all right so when i <laughs> that's terrible when i uh when i well if you yo, comment down below if you know where that's from all right, when I when I'm looking at a female, all right, when I'm looking at a female, when I'm looking at a female that I like, I I let her know that I'm looking at her, I let her know that I like her, and then I just go back to minding my business. All right. But when you have narcissistic people, they're worried about you to the point to where they have to act like they're not even looking at you. They have to do that because it's too it's too much validation for them to give off and this is one thing that narcissists do they hate giving off validation that's why that's the whole reason why they gaslight that's the whole reason why they lie that's the whole reason why they'll do something and tell you they didn't do it that's the whole reason why when you call them out on things they deny it these people they love to lie they, they live off lies the whole life is built off of a lie and that's why they get so upset when someone like you comes around them because you expose the the you expose the lies that they're trying to um, they're trying to uh, deflect on to other people. You expose the lies they're trying to live off and stand off and thrive off of. All right, they thrive off of lies. The narcissist thrives off of their lies. Okay, so when you have people, right? that are gonna be focused more on what you're doing, they're going to have to act like they don't see you. All right, they're going to have to act like you're not there. They're going to have to act like you don't exist. And it's because in all actuality, they're more focused on you than they are themselves. These people are coldly jealous, all right? They got a cold spirit, a cold heart, a cold level of jealousy, a cold level of envy. A lot of these people are, are, are uh, sociopathic. That's where a lot of, uh, uh, people came up with the term narcopaths because a lot of psychopaths have narcissistic traits and a lot of full-blown narcissists are psychopaths okay the ones that will try to to harm you or it looks like they're trying to intimidate you but you pick up a little fint uh you pick little fint you pick up a little hint of fear from like a physical alteraction with these people it's like yo i either got a I'm either going to have to like defend myself against this person or I could just dip and leave. All right. So if you get the feeling of you have to watch your back around a person, if you get the feeling that you're going to end up having to, to hit somebody or you end up getting to a fight with this person, av avoid that by all means. All right. Sometimes you can't avoid that, but avoid it by all means. All right. If you if you get the feeling, if you get the vibe that that's what this person is has inside, then pick use those use that intuition pick up on those vibes and dip okay um the one thing 
that you need to realize about these people is that you're just minding your business. And that's a huge, that's a huge level of hate to have for somebody that's not doing anything to you. That's why these people are so crazy. And that's why they're always trying to gaslight you and label you as the crazy one. When you can see through somebody's negative, bad, um, terrible, toxic behavior, they're going to label you as crazy because you can see through them. You can read through them like a book. You can read them like a book. Um, you see what they're up to. You see their, their BS. You see their games. You see um, their facade. You see through the type of person that they are. You see through their antics. You see through um, the, the smoke and mirrors. You see through uh, the gaslighting. You see through the manipulation. You see through the evil. You see through the tactics. You see through... Um, you see through the the countering, all right. You see through the the um, the the uh, projection and deflection, all that stuff. You you see through this person's whole entire steez, and this is why it's like the it's, this is why it's like a cat and mouse game between you and these people, all right. Um, you just want to be left alone, but it's like they never leave you alone, kind of thing. So the fact that you're dealing with a person that you want to be left alone from. You don't want nothing to do with them, but they want everything to do with you, but act like they don't. This this person is giving off secret admirer vibes. All right, this, like this person is like a secret admirer. All right, they can't get enough of you, but the fact that they're so worried about you and concerned about you, it makes them hate you at the same time. All right, they 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 try they they got love, they got hate at the same time. All right, they got love for you and hate for you at the same time. So you have to be careful about individuals like this. You have to be careful about people like this. People who have hate for you and love for you at the same time are basically a dangerous combination. All right. That's where they that's where people get crazy and that's where people get psychopathic is because they have this huge admiration for you, but just as much as they have admiration for you, they have the same level of hatred, disdain, jealousy, envy, uh negativity, all these things. All right. So these people have the same level of hatred for you that they have in love. And that's why a lot of times that's why they're, they talk about, oh, I love you and this, that, and the other. But their negative actions will cancel that stuff out. Their negative actions will cancel out what they do for you. Their negative actions will cancel out the, the love they say they have for you. It's because narcissistic people, they do not hold themselves accountable and they don't view what they're doing as abuse, obviously, they don't view what they're doing as harmful, negative, toxic. They see you instead of viewing themselves. See, if they had to view, if they had to view themselves the way view, if they had to view themselves the way you view them, they would have to hold themselves accountable. And that's something that they can't do. So since the fact that they can't hold themselves accountable and you're some you're you're based you're you're somebody who stands on business. You hold yourself accountable. You hold others accountable. You don't um, allow. You don't even treat yourself bad. So you 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 really not going to be too willing willingly allowing somebody else to come into your life and treat you bad. All right. So they can't hold themselves accountable, and you hold yourself accountable. You hold them accountable. All right. And the fact that. You're calling them out. The fact that you see through them, the fact that you see them for who they are, this is something that they can't stand. So this is why they uh, they will call you weak, and they will they will say uh, you're weak, you're soft, uh, you're emotional, um, you you can't control your emotions, um, you're immature. They'll they'll point the finger at you because you're uh, basically standing on business. And your whole, your everything about you calls them out. Your energy calls them out. Your spirit calls them out. Your attitude calls them out. All right, everything about you is calling this person out. And this is why this person cannot stand you. This is why these people act like. <clears throat> this is why these people act like you want them. They act like you want them because they're so worried about you and they're trying to flip the script. All right. These people are obsessed. And the one thing a person that is obsessed with you is just like Helga G. Pataki. What does she try to do? Flip the script. Hey, football head. I don't like you. She abused that man. But what did she do? She secretly went into the closet and was like, oh, I love him. And it's the same thing with these weird, weird behind people. As much as they disrespect you and have their feelings about you and their thoughts about you and their dirty looks. 
they got a, a, a outfit just like yours that they put on every day and even try to match you up with the same outfit and even try to be you and go out in public and be you. It's a love hate relationship with these folks. All right. So they're going to act like you want them when you don't. You'll be focused on yourself and minding your business. And here they come uh, running in the house or here they come shutting their car door, or rolling their window up. And it's, they, they, I, they really are pretending. They're really pretending in their mind that somebody wants them. And they're really they're doing it for you because they have an obsession with you. So you can't let these things bother you. You'll just be minding your business and then these people will run off and act like you done startled them or scared them or did something to them. They're the ones, they're the ones with the weird obsession. They're the ones that are weirdly obsessed with you. They're the one that can't get enough of you. They're the one that's always worried about what you're doing, focused on you, watching you, studying you, following you, stalking you. All right. And it's like they put an awful lot amount of time and energy for somebody that doesn't want to be around you, for somebody that doesn't like you, for somebody that doesn't want to see you, what they claim, right? They put a lot of energy and effort into seeing you. They put so much time and energy and effort into just seeing you on a daily basis. They got to make sure that you see them or or you're, you you see, see that they got the same clothes on as you or see that they can wear the same things as you. Or see that they can go out to eat at the same places as you. You can go have tacos, so can they. You can order a pizza, so can they. You can go, you can have Taco Tuesday, so can they. You can have a, a, a Wild Out Wednesday, so can they. Whatever you do, and if you enjoy doing it, and if they watch you doing it, trust and believe they're going to be petty enough to make sure that you see them doing the same thing. For somebody that doesn't like somebody, for somebody that ain't worried about somebody, for somebody that got an attitude towards you, they twist their face up when they see you. That's an awful lot of energy to be putting out and caring about somebody else. But the thing about us is we don't care about them like they care about us. They got to force themselves on us just to try to make us care about them. And they only can make us care about them when they can frustrate us and get us upset. That's the only time we care. They, they know that that's the only time people care about them. But see, this is see this is it's all making sense, y'all. These are the same tactics that they use to try to get attention and love as a child. When your parent, if you got a parent that's abusive, that's ignoring you and acting like you're not there, what is that child going to do? Break some stuff. Hey, why don't you stop breaking that stuff? And blah, 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 blah. The drunk, intoxicated, uh, probably drug-induced parent. <laughs> stop breaking my stuff. Dad, talk to me. Mom spoke to me. And then unfortunately, these people don't heal. And they send these people out. Now, I'm not saying we're supposed to feel for them because I don't. All right. But unfortunately, the cycle continues because these people don't heal and they just go out into the world, whether they see that they're toxic, their behavior is toxic or not. I don't care. All right. Because just because somebody does something wrong to you does not give you the right to do something wrong to somebody else. Because if that's the case, chosen ones wouldn't even be a damn thing with all the stuff we we go through and we experience. It wouldn't even be a thing. It'd, be, it'd probably be called evil ones or, or thrasher ones or, 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 or this is it ones. You know, it'd be, it'd be something, but it wouldn't be pretty. I guarantee you that much. But it's the same thing. So these people are really hurt and it's like they're, they're, they're crying out for help. But this ain't the way you go about crying out for help, especially when it's damaging to other people. And you can't just go out into the world toxic as hell and not caring about how your actions uh, play a part or how they affect other people in their lives. Well, somebody did me dirty and messed up my life, so I'm just going to have it out for everybody I see. No, everybody you see is not going to be standing for that. And there's going to be some people that come up against that and you may not like how. So it is what it is, you know. Um, these people there, they have a strange obsession, all right, um, with you, but they try to act like you're the one that's obsessed with them. And it's, it's all about flipping the script, all right. They have to hold up their facade. They got to hold up their ego. They got an image to uphold. They cannot be the one worried about somebody else, uh, caring about somebody else. These are the things that these people see as weak. So this is why they gaslight you. They feel that you should be able to withstand their negative treatment and their abuse because they don't see it as abuse. This is just how they are and this is how they treat people because this is how the world molded and shaped them. And if anybody around them doesn't like it, then they're just going to have to leave because this is how these people are and they're not going to change for you, me, God, anybody. All right, these people won't even, don't even want to change for God.
All right, it's gotta be a divine miracle for them to want to change. And that ain't got nothing to do with you or, or that, and that, that ain't got nothing to do with you. It's not your job to go around healing folks, it's not. Your job is to make sure that you're mentally sound and your job is to make sure you're doing the best for everybody around you that's giving them distance and um, wishing them the best. That's all the love you got to give people is not doing doing them the way you would want to be done and, and wishing them the best. That's it. Not sending out no dark, evil, negative prayers, witchcraft, none of that stuff. That's really all you're supposed to be doing is wishing the best for everybody. If I stay away from you and wish the best for you, that's love. And you and you and you gonna have to accept that because I ain't got I ain't got nothing else for you. All right, I ain't got nothing else for you. Not a reaction, not an action, not a, a the action, not a, a nothing. I mean, I ain't, I ain't, we ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing for you. We ain't got nothing for you. Nothing, nothing, nothing. We ain't got nothing for him. Okay. Um, what else we got? Um, and these these people are minding you, minding your business, right? You don't like these these types of people. They will trip you up because. These are the types of people that you don't you don't want nothing to do with them, but they'll put themselves in front of you while you're ignoring them, minding your business. But the moment you see them, they'll have an act like you did them something wrong or they'll present themselves to have an attitude like they'll walk in front of you, make you see them and then go huh. like like you did them something wrong or they got a problem with you. And it's just to try to ruin your day because you're having a better day than them. Your life is better than them. It doesn't matter. If you're in a time of need and you you don't have this, you don't have that, uh, you, you, this doesn't match, uh, stomach touching your back, it doesn't matter. You're going to overcome everything that you're going through. All right, number one, you're going to overcome everything that you're going through. And number two, you're better than these people. All right, you're way better than them. If they were in your, they're looking at you in your position, wondering why you're not breaking into somebody's house or robbing or stealing or thieving or or selling or whatever the hell heck uh, uh, people do in desperate times. They're wondering why you're not acting like them, number one. Number two, they're, they're, they're so negative and evil, they're wondering why they don't see any of that in you. And because they don't, it's making them feel less than you because they know that you are better than they are. All right, so they, it's making them feel less than you because you're better than they are. They gotta see you every day, they gotta be around you, however your situation is with these kinds of people, all right? and they're desperate. They're desperate for your attention. They're desperate for your love. They're desperate for your affection. Anything they can get from you, they can, even if it's negativity. Even if it's negativity, they're broken children that need healing, and it's not your job to do it. You don't, you don't, you don't have compassion for these people. You don't have empathy for these people. You have empathy for these people by staying away from them and, and staying to yourself and, 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 and just not having anything to do with them. All right. You don't nobody should have anything to do with toxic people, especially if they don't want anything to do with them. And they're toxic. You know, like you, you, you don't have to have anything to do with somebody just because they're there. Even if somebody's standing in front of you, you step to the side. You may have to take a deep breath because it may be annoying. All right. This person's forcing themselves on me. All right. Um, if, if it gets to the point to where I have to shove them or move them out the way after a few excuse me then whatever it is what it is but you know most people will just let you go about your day all right but if they don't you already know how to handle that that ain't that ain't about nothing so step to the side move out the way these people are these people are are looking for some they're looking for somebody to argue with them they're looking for somebody to get into it with them all right they're they're, they're looking for somebody to be miserable with them so when you get into arguments with them when you a when you don't ignore them when you let them get to you They'll, they'll argue back with you and everything, but these are things that fuel them. These are things that uplift their spirit. These are things that give them energy. These are things that make them feel better about themselves. These are how they thrive. This is how they survive. This is how they feel validated. They have to tear other people down to build themselves up. All right, that's their game. I tear you down so I could build myself up. This is how they think. It doesn't even work for them, but that's just how they think. All right, they feel, they, they feel temporarily better about themselves until they got to find somebody else. This is why these people don't care about the relationships that they get in because it's just supply. It's just, it's just a new, it's just a new play toy, it's just a new pet. That's it. They don't, these, they, they, these kinds of people do not care about people. They care about the energy they get from you. They care about the e emotional um, frustration or anger or uh, twisted reaction that they get from you. That's all they care about.
All right. So you'll have a lot of people trying to get reactions from you when you have people acting like this towards you. These are the types of people that are trying to get your reaction. You walk outside, somebody picks their baby up off the ground. You you walk into a place and somebody grabs their purse. All right. Um, you you uh, hold you try to uh, walk into a bill, uh, try to walk into a door and somebody runs out of their car and they run into the door before you could get there. Like you about to run after them or hurt them or something. Like you walk outside, everybody walks inside. It's just petty stuff. It's like these, these people are petty. They either walk outside when you walk out or they, they walk inside and run like you're a serial killer or something. If, if, knowing that they're the ones that psychopathic. So you'll have people who have a problem with you that want to cause problems with you and then try to say that you're the problem. It doesn't make sense to us because we have we, we, we use it. We use our logical mind to the best of our ability. We use our logical minds. All right. These psychopaths and narcopaths and stuff like that. They don't think logically. They think demonically. All right. We think logically. They think demonically. So they think you want them. All right. They think you're focused on them. They think you're worried about them. But it's all and they're they're creating this one. They are creating a facade in their mind. This is why I said they think you want them. They are they 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 are they don't even think you want them. They're making themselves think that somebody wants them. They are trying to make it seem like, oh, he wants me or somebody wants me or somebody's uh, jealous of me or so they're trying to flip the script. They're the one that wants you. How how else could could their movements be so on cue with yours? As soon as you walk outside, they all run in the house. Like you like you did something to them or like it's something wrong with you. You don't even be saying nothing to people. You be minding your business and you be quiet all the time. And even if people were around, you don't even when, when people are around, you don't even speak to them hardly. So it's like people are just people are people are petty and they're trying to get a reaction out of you. And they're, they're trying to see how much you care about them. They care about you. So this is why they're all up in your face. This is why they're trying to get a reaction out of you. People who don't care about you could care less about getting a reaction out of you. But it's just like a parent. It's just like it's just like somebody who has a neglective parent. All right. When you're ignoring them, they get triggered. This is why you have to keep ignoring them and act like they're not there. All right. Because it, it triggers them. That's why they have to try to get your reaction. It's just we're not used to it. It pisses us off. We get upset and then they end up getting what they want from us. And then we end up becoming their target and their supply. Once you realize to keep your energy to yourself and you don't, you don't, you don't let these people see how they affect you, they lost. They're going to be lost in the sauce. They're not going to know what to do. They're not going to know what to do. The other day, somebody followed me. Like so the other day, somebody on cue straight up just followed me. They were coming from, I was coming to. They, I, I'm, I'm, it's, it's, I'm at night and basically how I was walking around, that's how they were walking around. They were doing the same thing that I was doing, copying my movement. But I was going and they were coming. That's that's creepy. That's weird. Imagine you walk, you just leave your house and walk up the street and somebody is coming back doing the exact same thing you're doing. It's like, yo, how, how like how do you how do you figure these kinds of things out? You know, like these people have too much time on their hands and they're they're overly obsessed with you. All right. They're overly obsessed with you. This is why you don't communicate with people like this. People like this will try to force friendships on you. Right. And it's like, why in your right mind would you want to be friends with somebody that's a sociopath? But them, they don't see nothing wrong with that. So that's why it's important for people like us who are aware to keep our distance. Doesn't matter what they call us mean. Doesn't matter if they say we're evil. Doesn't matter what they say about us. When you when you notice off kilter behavior that's toxic and other people, you stay away. You don't try to see if it'll change. You don't try to work things out. You don't try to ignore it. You don't try to make friends just because. You leave these people alone and you stay away from them. You don't want anything to do with them at all. And you don't show them that they affect you in any kind of way possible. So that way they will leave you alone. They may even try. But here's the thing. Even if they don't stop, you'll be so you'll be so well learned and in, in, in not showing these people how they make you feel. You won't even react to them no more. So the game is over. All right. The game is over. Once you once you even if you're mad, keep it to yourself. It's OK to be mad. It's OK to have somebody make you mad. Just don't show them. That's how you win. Even when they make you mad, 
You lose when you show them that they made you mad. So keep your poker face. That same face that they saw before they agitated you, keep that. Keep that, keep that, keep that. Keep that same face. Keep that same energy. Go off in the corner, scream, hit a wall, yell, whatever you got to do. But don't let them see it. All right? Don't let them see it. And the more you do that, the less you'll care. Because the less you're going to be affected by it. The more you're going to have trained your mind to respond and not react. The moment you train yourself to respond differently is the moment you start to win. All right? You, like, people are childish, all right? So they're going to play games like children. Children are going to act like children. Children are not going to act like adults. So if you have somebody that's acting like a child, you can't expect anything other than them except that, except for them to act like a child. All right. These people aren't going to 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 you already know what to do. These people are not going to be mature like you. They're not going to be mature like you. They don't have a mature bone in their body. They do not have a mature bone in their body. They don't. All right. They're, they're just miserable people looking for other miserable people trying to make more miserable people and your job is to not be miserable with them your job is to just mind your business and live your life when you have people that are, are obsessed with you when you have people that want you and they're trying to flip the script and make it seem like you want them who cares what they try to do it gets underneath your skin because you're not used to the behavior you wish people would act different but you don't have any control over how people act or their behavior and the beauty of that is you don't need them to act different or change their behavior for you to have peace, for you to just get back to your life and live in your life. You're focused on what somebody is doing. Stop focusing on what other people are doing. And I know that sounds like that's the worst thing you could tell a targeted individual, but it makes sense. All right. And you just have to when when it comes to us, we have a whole nother level of focus. We have a God focus. All right. So you're going to have to take all your energy, all your attention, and bend it back inwardly towards yourself. Take all that energy that you're that is being projected from you onto that other person. When they 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 had to get you to focus on them by what they did. They they use their they use their pettiness and what they do to get focus and energy and time from you. So what you have to do is take that energy, that time, that focus, and put it all back on yourself all in a hater's face even if the narc is right there even if the narc is right there walk around them and act like they don't even exist because that's going to trigger them and f them up that's going to destroy them that's why they're so, like yo you walk outside you just try to mind your business it's like yo why are these people acting so freaking weird it's because they're like children the child inside of them is like hey mom hey dad pay me attention look at me if you don't look at me, I'm going to break some stuff. If you don't pay attention to me, I'm going to break some stuff. These people are, are children. They, they have the mindset of a, a toddler. And, 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 and you, you're the only mature one in the scenario when you're dealing with these kinds of people. So as the mature one, you, have to, um, you really have to uh, take that wholeheartedly. And you really got to uh, take that to heart. Be like, yo, this person is a child. You, re you really have to see them as a child. Like, I'm telling you, you have to view this person as a child. And sometimes you got to beat them like a child in the form of ignoring them. When you don't ignore children, they go ape stuff. They go bananas when you, ign when you ignore children. You don't try, try to get some of these people back. You, 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 you don't try to get some of these people back and they ignored you. So you know how I felt. Matt, remember that one person that knew how that, that uh, was a... a, a, a a piece of work, but they knew how to ignore people. And it's like the things you try to get them back with, it wouldn't even have no effect on them. And it's like, yo, I'm doing the same thing this person did to me, but they don't even care. Maybe, you know, kind of made you a little anxious, right? This is the, these are the things that create anxiety and narcissists. This is one of them, ignoring them, acting like these people don't exist. Narcissists love attention. So what do you think is the opposite of attention? Being ignored. If they love attention, they have to hate being ignored and if a, if a narcissist hates you you want to do things that they hate i mean if a narcissist wants you to hate them you want to do some things that they hate like ignoring them when you ignore the narcissist you won't hate them Ooh, we going in today when you ignore the narcissist you won't hate them peace restored love restored 
joy restored. All right. So it really it, it's up to you uh, of what you choose to do with these kinds of people. All right. They can choose to affect you any way they want. They could try to affect you any way they want. But you got the right to ignore them, man. When people are constantly, you know, trying to get attention from you and constantly trying to get all up in your business, you have the right to ignore these people. It, it may be difficult, but, you know, it's worth it. It's worth the effort. It's worth the try. Act like they don't exist. All right. Act like they don't exist. Ignore them and go on about your day, go on about your life. It will create less stress for you. All right. You don't have to pay attention to somebody just because they're trying to get attention from you. It's like you, you feel like you got to look at them or something. You don't. You do not have you don't have to look at anybody. You don't have to acknowledge anybody. You don't have to pay attention to anybody. It's OK to just mind your business and act like people are invisible. It's OK to act like you're invisible. You know what? OK, they they, they Oh, OK. They, I, I'll be the invisible one. then. I'm going to act like I'm not even here. Like it's, it's up to you what you do with your mind to ignore people and to not have them bother you. If they want to be a child, you act like a child. In, in the form of you be like a child to enter into the kingdom of heaven. If they want to be a child, you be like a child too. To use your imagination to enter into the kingdom of heaven. To imagine yourself up some peace. Unless you be like a child, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. People acting childlike, hey, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the mature child. I'm going to, ima I'm going to use my imagination like a child would. And I'm going to effortlessly and easily imagine peace. You can't tell a child nothing. A child can easily, if a child wants to be a tree, it's going to imagine itself as a tree. If it's a cat, it's going to, he's going to start meowing. If he's a dog, he's going to start woofing. If he's driving in a race car, he's going to start acting like his bike is a race car. He might not even have a bike. He might just be walking around like he's in a race car. Unless you, unless you become like a child, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Become childlike. Enter into the kingdom of heaven and take back your peace when it comes to these evildoers. All right. Evildoers do not exist. They evildoers do not exist. They only exist because you give them life by the attention you give them by a reaction. So let, let your response be silence. Let your response be focusing on yourself. Let your response be. I'm going to ignore you. I'm going to walk around you. I'm going to act like I don't see you. Even if I see you, I'm going to act like I don't see you. Ain't no, you don't have to try to pretend to not see these people. Your silence is painful enough. Even if you see them, even if you see them with your own two eyes, I guarantee you, you not interacting with them, your silence, you, you focusing back on yourself, you excusing yourself, stepping to the side, keeping it going. Even if you got to hold the door for one of these vagabonds, hold the door for them after you, sir, after you, madam. And that's another thing. When you're in public and these people start getting petty, let them have it. Let them have it. If they want to rush and try to run you over to get somewhere, let them have it. Let them get there first. Let them have it. All right, these they're children. They're like little kids. Oh, I got in front of I got in front of the the I got in front of the mature one. Oh, oh I, I it's like when they it's like uh when when they would act bad around a teacher or something. It's like and it all boils back down to attention. The students that act bad in class, no offense to them. But they are just trying to get attention because they're not getting enough at home. Why do you think students act up in class? Because they don't get enough attention at home. This thing is an attention thing. A chosen ones get all the attention. It's all eyes on us. These are things that narcissistic people hate. They will fight you for that attention. When you go to a new place, you start to get more attention for them. They feel threatened. Their supply is at stake. They are going to try to get you up out of there any type of way they can. Or manipulate you into thinking and that they're more powerful, which shows everybody around them that they're the one who deserves the attention that you get. Because look at how they can make you act. Y'all gonna have to rewind this video. Y'all gonna have to put this on repeat. Uh, this is real, real strange, strange, strange behavior, y'all. And they want you to think that it's your fault. And they, they want you to think it's your fault. You'll live in a place with people like this and they'll they'll make you stay to yourself because you don't want if if if, if, uh, if one person is like this. How do you know they're not all like this? How do you know uh, the people are who, who and yo and, and when you see people talking and acting normal to, with these people, you can't talk to nobody because the friends of your friend, the friends of your enemies aren't, aren't your friends.
If somebody is ha ha he he smiley, uh, happy face with somebody that is uh, conducting the type of behavior I'm talking about in this video, you can't be friends with that person. Even if she's nice and she bakes pies and she's sweet and lovely, you can't be friends with that person. Oh, that's my nephew. You can't be friends with that woman. You can't be friends with them. The enemy of my and the friend of my enemy ain't my friend. The enemy of your enemy is not the end. The friend of your enemy is not your friend. The friend of your enemy ain't your friend. So, these people will try to act like you want them. The nerve of them. They they, they, they like all the things that they do. They got. They, they're going to act like you want them because they have to act like you want them. They like their whole life is created. Their whole life is made up. Or their, their whole life is made up. They have to act like somebody wants them. They have to create a, a, a storyline in their mind of, of them being pursued, of them being loved, of somebody wanting them, of somebody caring about them. Even if it's even if it's negative, they don't care. If you hate them, you you, you only hate them because you care about them. You cannot care about somebody that you don't hate. And the one thing that they fear is somebody that's not caring about them. So even when you're not paying attention to them, even when you're going off about your day mining your business, they see you as a threat because you're. they see you as somebody that doesn't care about them. Narcissists, everybody got to care about them. Everybody got to care about a narcissist. They have to get, a, a, if you're in their vicinity, if you're in their range of view, they have to get attention from you. They need everybody around them to see them as the best, to see them as the greatest with, with nothing done. With nothing done. It's like um the the it's like Space Jam, right? When the uh Charles Barkley lost his powers and he was a wannabe. It's like they're real life wannabes who never lost their powers, but they want your admiration and they want you they want you to um give them all this valor and honor and honor. It's like somebody that uh didn't go out to fight at war and they stayed home and just held a flag. But when the soldiers came back, they wanted to be treated in uh, uh, of equal valor and honor like the soldiers who went out and fought. No, you stayed home and held the flag, homeboy. You held it down. You P.O.P., hold it down. You held it down. But you didn't go out in, in the line of fire, homie. You didn't go out in the line of fire. So, you know, they want they want this attention. They want this respect, but they don't want to they don't they don't do nothing to get it. It's just it's like somebody who it's like somebody who sees a successful person and they just want your life automatically because you're successful. They don't know anything you had to put in to get it. They don't do any they don't want any of the work that you had to do to get it. All right, what forget what you went through, forget what you had to learn, forget the time and energy you done put into it, forget all that. For, forget all that. That don't matter to them. Now, I want what you got right now. I want what you got right now. I want the yo, I, attention. I want that attention right now. Like, yo, it's, it's a lot of narcissistic behavior. And me just being aware of people and how people act, I always was aware of these kinds of things. It's just, I, I, I just I just looked at it as, like, uh, I just looked at it as people wanted my attention. I'm like, okay, they got to get attention from Drew. They got to get attention from me. And I, I, I didn't know what was going on. I'm like, I, yo, I didn't know if anybody else out in the world was going through this or not. It's like, it's, it's like so much stuff will happen to you. And your own personal experience and it's like you don't even have time to focus on whether it's happening to anybody or not you the people you try to talk to about you get gaslit so it's like it's, it's hard to believe this stuff happens to anybody it's like yo am i the only one am i the only person experiencing this behavior try to go to this person i don't know what you're talking about try to talk to these people oh i never experienced that or try to talk to this one that happens to me all the time you don't see me complaining about it i don't have any issue with it I don't, blah, 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 blah. gaslight 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 counter 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 so it is what it is you know um, when you focus on yourself and you're not worried about people, they're going to create a facade in their mind to where they they, they uh, picture themselves as somebody that's important to you. <laughs> like, yo, they, they, they create a reality in their mind to where you view them as somebody important. 
and they're even they're even willing to to start fights with you to get to to get on your nerves, get on your bad side, have people not like them. They don't care because negativity is in power right now. All right, you got God is here, but the world has been given to the wicked. So there's a lot of evil, wicked, negative people out there, and it's more of them than it is of us. And they know that. But the thing is, God, we're more powerful than them. Just because, yo, did, did, yo, they, just because they have numbers does not, their numbers do not equate power when it comes to this situation right here. Because we, yo, we have God on our side, man. It could be a thousand roundabout. We still have God on our side. God make them all drop dead. Boop, dead. So don't don't ignore 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 you ignore these people, all right? Because they're just children who want attention from you, all right? They view they view you as a parental figure in their life, like yeah, I'm not being daddy today, I'm not being mommy today, all right? Go you got to go find daddy and mommy someplace else. I'm sorry, mommy and daddy didn't show you enough attention, but you ain't getting none of that here. I had somebody say that one time, and then I said that to somebody, and they were like, "That's mean," and I'm like, "That's mean." I'm like, that's the truth. I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry you ain't get enough attention from mommy and daddy, but you ain't getting that here. That's the realest thing I ever heard. I'm like, yo, he, so I'm like, yo, he, he told me that. I was like, okay, word. I'm like, that, that makes a lot of sense. I'm like, wow, that makes a lot of sense. That makes too much sense. But it's like, you know, some people are put up on game a lot earlier. Some people we got to learn, study, pick up books, research, watch videos and learn and, and pick up stuff on our own. Because some of us have been in these abusive relationships to where we're not going to get any of this information. Because if we did, we'd use it against our abusers. Am I right or am I wrong? I know I'm right. Okay. So it is what it is. You'll have people chosen one that will try to act like you want them and you're worried about them. When in all actuality, they're the ones that are more worried about you than you could even imagine. They want you more than you could ever know. And they'll, they'll, they'll they show it to you with this love hate style type of interaction that they try to have with you they be trying to smile and act normal but you can see you can see right through them you can see the hate you can see the envy you see right through it and that and, and that that makes you stay away from them and the fact that you stay away from them they lose attention like they do not like you chosen ones you can read through them you can see through them you know not to interact with them they know they cannot get no attention from you unless they force themselves on you and they got to try to be an energy vampire and steal your energy. This is where you get energy vampires. Narcissists that do not get the attention from a person they feel they deserve. This is just one, one aspect of, of energy vampirism, I'm sure. But I'm very sure it's a valid one for the chosen one. All right. They want your time. They want your energy. They want attention. They want everything from you but they don't deserve none of it because they're a toxic individual. Toxic people are not worth your time, energy, and attention. Toxic people are to be ignored. They aren't to be reacted to. They aren't for you to give negative energy to. They aren't to waste your time arguing with. They aren't to waste your time fighting with. They aren't to waste your time looking at. Toxic people are meant to be ignored and act like they're not even there. Treat them like a tree. Walk right past them and keep it moving. You see the tree, you don't even pay it no mind. Treat these people like inanimate objects. Treat them like inanimate objects, like they're not even there. These people don't even have no souls, man. They're soulless. They got a spirit, but they don't have no soul. And that spirit they got is an evil, demonic spirit. You can have a spirit, but not everybody got a soul. Chosen ones, we got a soul. These people don't have a, a, a spirit. In order to have a, I mean, these people don't have a soul. In order to have a soul, you got to have a heart, man. These people ain't got no damn hearts. <laughs> they ain't got no heart. They ain't got no empathy. None of that. Ain't got no empathy for you and me. Okay? Ain't got no empathy for you and me. All right? We got we got that for ourselves, though. All right? And chosen ones package it up nice. We treat, we treat each other real well. Shout out to the chosen vessels. All right? We treat each other real well. All right? We have a lot of love in our community. All right? So shout out to the chosen vessels, man. Um, shout out to the Galactic Family. Shout out to Drew Nation. Everybody holding it down. Staying positive. Ignoring narcs. Moving forward. All right? Um... It's, it, it's been real, you know. Um, we're gonna we're gonna keep surviving. We're gonna keep thriving, and and we're gonna put we're gonna keep putting God on high end. Okay, we're gonna keep putting God on the high end. 
All right, we're going to keep putting God on the high end so we can keep ourselves on the fly end of things. All right? Chosen ones will fly, man. Narcissists be caring about us, worried about us, and trying to make us point us out to be the bad guys. And, and, but that's what they do, though. But the thing is, we have to learn to not get upset over who these people are and what they do. A narcissist is just being a narcissist. A child is going to be a child. These people are children. They're not to be upset about. They're nothing to be angry about, nothing to be made mad about. They're who they are. They could never be better than you. They're always going to be in a state of competition with you constantly trying to uh, compete for energy attention they be outside trying to compete with you for who gets the most attention from your neighbors you know you ain't even worried about that stuff the stuff that they care about we're not even worried about they everything that they care about and they're concerned about we could care less we really could you know and it just shows you how childish they are and, and where, 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 what uh, level of maturity they have their mindset isn't developed like yours all right so everybody hit that like button, hit that share button. Don't forget to subscribe. It's another Drew 2 special. Shout out to the Chosen Vessels, the GCVs, the Galactic Family. Salute to the Drew Nation. I'll see everybody in the next video. Routine maintenance on the way out. Wipe your feet off on the mat. Hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Peace, love, and light. We out, y'all.